If somebody asked about the hens that have these ankle bracelets, that's because they got warrants. They're under house arrest. They can't be trusted. Now go be good and recidivize yourself. <laughs> All jokes aside, we're back on schedule for collecting eggs. So let's get them. We're going to hope for uh, 21 or 22 cases and uh, cl uh, flats rather. And uh, inside we go in into the dirty area. Dirt, dirty. Say hello to the ladies in the beautiful sunset. Hello, ladies. So if you'll recall, I moved the hen mobile this morning. Come on, ho. Get your strump itself. I'm gonna, all right. So anyway, uh, we collected eggs. Uh, a little bit this morning because we moved the hen mobile so we got the ones that were already underneath so not going to be that many under here today all right so there was a lot more eggs in there and i thought there was going to be i ain't bringing enough flats in there so i, I stop looking at my eggs okay so we're going to start on the back side with the most popular nest box because it's going to get darker over here quicker Okay, we got about three and a half out of nest box number, I think it's number eight, most popular one. That's about usual. Let's move on. This one's cracked. Watch what happens when you throw one and they see it. Ugh. See how excited they get? Now wait for some crunchy homestead mama to start influencing people to eat their own periods. Well, it's under number 11. We got a bunch on the ground, but since we had a fresh pasture move and nobody's had a chance to roost up here and poop all down here yet, these are just as nice and clean and fresh and lovely. I love fresh pasture move depth. Nest box 11 is by no means the most popular nest box, but we'll get a half a flat out of this and I'll take it. Okay, and here we are at the very last one. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, 13, plus whatever we get out of this one. So we'll have almost 14 flats, 14 full flats from doing one side and the inside. Got this little great big right here. That does not compute. These are for size comparison. This one's too, too small. Go knock yourself out. All right, take this. Uh, right here all right we got just over a half a flat out of that one we almost forgot to go get the eggs from the pocket hello lucky bot where are you going oh yeah this is spectacular okay so after the first half we have six twelve almost 14 flats need a total of 22 we need about eight flats to get what we need and not go broke today our sun is disappearing, so it is time to haul booty cheeks out here. Let's go. Hello, monkey, hello. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Hello, say hello. Barely got one flat out of that one. Let's hope we do better over here. Okay, we needed eight, now we need seven, six, a little more than five to win. We can see from all these feet up under here that we're starting to get ready to roost. 12 hours later. Yeah, episode of my dang phone died. Uh, anyhow, 
It is the morning. I'm uh, sitting out here getting ready to open these guys up, but I've still got the eggs in here from last night. We got six, 12, 18, 21, two, three, four, almost, wait, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, too early in the morning, almost 23 full flats. Fantastic. Now, I'm remembering I gave kind of a facetious answer to why did some of the hens have those blue bands on their ankles. So let's let's look at the real reason. First, I gotta feed them. You can't tell me in the meantime, that between the fog, the moon, the chill in the air, that view, that this isn't just the best time of year. Feeders are down, let's let them out. So, I know, I know, you're so pissed off. So, girl, 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 got him there. So, see so it, when you hang them upside down, it doesn't take them long to calm down. This is the same reason we put uh, broiler chickens upside down in the kill cones, because look at that. Anyway, she's got a leg band, and so do many of her sisters, because they are part of the same age group. So, when it's time to rotate hens out, we know who to get and who not to get. So every individual group of say a few hundred birds that comes in, we give them either the same leg band or no leg band, which is also a way to identify them. So we know which group is which because we always have multiple groups running around in here. And that's the reason why. Now go eat, honey. Everybody have a fantastic morning. Get yourself some apple cider, put that joint on the stove, make it nice and warm, put some nutmeg, maybe a little star anise in it, a little, little bit of cinnamon, little, maybe a little clove up in that joint, and, and, and just have a fantastic, and some brown sugar, don't forget the brown sugar. It's just, mm, you gonna have a good day. Yes. Yes!